I've been looking at an option that's free online where you'd be able to record audio and transcribe it and try and separate the speakers automatically. Otherwise, you just end up with paragraph after paragraph of different people speaking all mixed together with no context of who's saying what. So you spend loads of time having to separate it all, listen back to the original audio. That can be quite time consuming. Now on Office 365 online, I've got an option that kind of does that, not perfectly, but it separates it a bit better. Open Office 365 for me. Once you open it, come to the top here. We know you've got the dictation option that works quite well, that's built into Microsoft Word. Just doing a little test, and I'm going to see if it can record YouTube. Full stop. So it's even done the punctuation for me there. Just come to the left of the dictation and make sure you choose your correct language there and your microphone you're using. I always enable auto punctuation works quite well. But I don't want to look at that today. I'm going to get rid of that. I've got the transcription option. So come up to the dictation and select transcribe. Now if you've got an audio file you've recorded on your phone or dictaphone, then you've got the options there. Wave, MP4, M4A or MP3, and you can upload it using the upload audio button and it will transcribe it. But where it finds a gap in the speech as well, it will separate the speaker. But at least it breaks it down. Come down to the bottom and choose your language. So I'm just going to scroll down. United Kingdom. You see on the left here, I've got Charles Taylor and Rowan Williams in conversation doing a lecture book lunch. So I want to recall that because there's multiple speakers to say it picks up. So what I need to do, if I click the start recording option, for this demonstration I've just put a standard mic next to the speaker, but you can try this out in a live lecture and see what results you get. Once you've selected start recording in Office 365, now click play on YouTube. Topic of importance, indeed, indeed the necessity of public, of public debate, debate that, that I, I wish to launch, launch your discussion. discussion. Professor, Professor Taylor, Taylor, let's, let's begin, begin with your thoughts, thoughts on the subject. subject. This, this is a time, time of excitement and innovation, but also of contradiction and fierce debate in our public conversation. conversation. What is the place of public, public debate of the sort espoused by the BD lecture and other public forums? I think it's, it's absolutely essential, essential because the way, the way things, things are very often put before, before the electors is, is two absolutely different uh, accounts, even <laughs> presupposing different realities, and, and highly oversimple. And the, the actual issues we face are tremendously complex, and you can't solve one part of the problem without looking at other parts. So, how to raise the level? Now, public intellectual. Once you've stopped, click the option on Office 65 where it says Save and Transcribe Now to transcribe that speech. And there we go. So we've got different speakers. Speaker two. Let's have a little playback. ...of public debate that I wish to launch your discussion. Professor Taylor, let's begin with your thoughts on the subject. This is a time of excitement and innovation, but also of contradiction and fierce debate in our public conversation. What is the place of public debate of the sort espoused by the BD Lecture and other public forums? I think it's absolutely essential because the way things are very often put before the electors is two absolutely different uh, accounts even. So I'm going to select pause at the top. You can see it's kind of separated it for you. So it gives you something better to work with. So if I close that blue window at the bottom, I can now select add to document, just text, or with speakers I recommend so you can go back and check it. So I'm going to select with speakers. And there we go. You see, it's all separated. That might be a little bit better than just having complete transcripts of page after page with no context to who was speaking. It might help you work with it a little bit better. You are kind of limited because you're only allowed 300 minutes a month to use this option. Then it resets and use another 300 minutes. But if it's an important lecture or some really important note taking, you can use it specifically for that. Let me know if that helps.